Welcome back to 8042's YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we are going over a clean website promo. So this is from motionarray.com. We are about to edit a promo video and include this little quick template in the mix. We're gonna show you how to go through and use it. Just to make sure that we're in the right spot, let's go ahead and mute this guy and we'll show you what we're gonna be doing. So if you guys see this promo and you're on it, confused about how to edit it, it's gonna go over you know, some website stuff. It looks like we might even be able to use some video placeholders um, instead of websites for this template. Or in this case, we have a PDF that might look nice, um, you know, kind of going through with all these pages here. All right, so if this is the right one that you guys need help with, we're here to help. In this tutorial, we're going to go over step-by-step -step process of how to edit this, okay? It's important to note here that you just need After Effects CC 2021 or higher um, more recent no plugins are required and the file size here 8.86 so go ahead and download this um, select exactly where to save it then let's go ahead and open up that file so once it downloads you'll see here we have a clean website promo I'm gonna right click on that and select to extract the file click extract as long as you have After Effects installed um, above 2021 you're just going to be able to open this once it extracts. So we're going to go into that clean website promo folder. Just go ahead, double tap it. And we're going to open up the effects folder, the After Effects folder. And just go ahead, look for that project file and click on clean website promo. All right, so After Effects is going to open up here. Um, it will show you that if you don't have the right fonts synced, it will say, you know, that there's unresolvable fonts. These are them though, Lewis George Cafe, Lewis George Cafe Bold, and Mont Heavy Demo. You can install those online and then reopen, reopen this template in After Effects, but I'm just going to go ahead and say OK since I'm not going to be worrying about the specific font for this tutorial. All right, so something that's cool here is we can just kind of go through, see what this template looks like, and it looks like... We're not going to see a whole lot before we actually start importing our footage and placeholders. You can see that there's text, but you don't see any of these placeholders or um, kind of website images. So what we want to look at is on the left hand side of the screen, we want to open up edit comps and we want to come into the images folder and you can see that there's 15 placeholders here. So we can go ahead and double click image one and you're going to see the aspect ratio. Um, for this placeholder. Now we can go ahead and change the size here. I'm going to select 50 so it's a little bit bigger. And any image, website, screenshot, um, or video that fits within this placeholder, we can go ahead and drop in. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my folder and we're just going to drag and drop a specific video into this folder. Let's choose this one. And since it is a large image, we're going to want to scale this down. So I can right click, click transform, and I can either scale this or I can say fit to comp or fit to comp width or fit to comp height. Um, but since this sequence is of this template is 1920 by 1080 and I recorded this video in 4K, I know that if I scale it to 50%, it's going to automatically resize perfectly. All right, so there we have image one. Okay, so as you can see here, um, it is going to now show up in our template. So we can come back to the final queue and we can see this, um, that it's now importing into our template. Okay, so let's go ahead and just go ahead, open up image number two and see what that does. As you can see, the placeholder is a different size here, right? So I am going to be looking for a different image or a different video that could work for this template. I'm going to go ahead and drop in, you know, this PDF in this case. Uh, go ahead, select fit to comp height now in this instance, and it's going to scale that up. And then we can come back to our final comp and we can see, you know, what this looks like. Okay. So here we have, you know, our image there going through the template. 
what I want you to do is go ahead and add your placeholders coming back to final comp for all of these um, placeholders in this project. Then it goes, thanks for watching. Okay, so that's how you fill in all the placeholders. As you can see, it's kind of you're already getting, you know, into customizing this, this text and all of these videos. The next step we want to do is you can open up the text, okay? And you can go in and you can change the text and you can change the font. So if we look at text one, usually, depending on the template, but in this case, um, this is going to be the first text, clean website promo. So if we double click on this text, we should see, boom, there you go, clean website promo. And what you can do is you can change it, change text, right? And you can also come over here on the right hand side of the screen and you can change the fonts. So you could change it to Bebas, for example. You want to actually select it first and then you can change it to Bebas, right? And you can change the text or if you want, you can delete the text and leave it blank. Okay, which is what I'm going to actually be doing. So I'm going to go into all these text items and I'm going to actually delete them. But you can, of course, as mentioned, just change them and change the font if you want to use them. Um, I like to actually leave them blank and then bring, you know, this whole template that I'm creating back into Premiere Pro, uh, which I have tons of other tutorials on on this channel. And I'll actually continue adding text and editing these videos there. All right. But I'm going to go through and finish just deleting all of this text. And you can go take this time to add your own text if you want to keep any of it or delete it if you just want to use the video templates um, like I am doing in this template. Okay, that is completed. Now you can see I've added all these sequences to this After Effects project. Um, I can go through and start deleting some of these. Uh, I have all my images open. I have all the text now open. So I can go through and clear some of this stuff up if I want to, or you can keep it open. Um, but now I'm going to come back to my final comp and I can see that all the text has been removed. Um, the other thing that we can do and that you can customize before exporting is color. So you can go ahead and open up this color panel under edit comps and you'll be able to open up this menu under the effects and under the transform. And you'll be able to see that um, there is text color, there's shape color, there's background color. So if you wanted to change the background color, you could. You can double click any of these scenes and you'll be brought to that specific scene. And then you're looking for a BG and you can go ahead and hide that. And as you can see, that just removed the background. And if I select these toggle transparency grid, items now I can actually um, you know change that transparency so it's set to zero you can also do that for the button if you'd like um, and here we have an AI file for the cursor and let's see the um, blur if we wanted to change the blur like let's say we just wanted to keep you know that um, video as a normal video we got the text one pre-comp it's not that um, it's probably under the image here you have its position animated which you can see under effects boom there you go you have a fast blur okay so if you wanted to we could totally remove these two icons for the blur and then set the blurriness to zero and now our image will not be blurred out okay so you can go into each scene and do this i'm going to go ahead and do that to remove the background color and make it transparent or we can just remove this bg here in in the final template as well it allows you to do that sometimes you need to go into the scenes but as you can see now this entire template um, there is no background to. So what I can do is I can export this as a PNG sequence and then I can bring it into Premiere Pro. And this is just an end button, okay? Um, I actually can delete that. I don't even need that. But you're going to 
take this template and customize it however you want. So you might be happy with um, the exact way that it was before any customizations. And in that case, you can just skip to this step. We're gonna start exporting. So I'm gonna come up to file. I'm gonna click export and I'm gonna click add to render queue. My output mode, I want to be set at, in this case, PNG sequence. And I'm going to export this as a RGB and alpha channels. What that's going to do, you guys, it's going to allow me to, to um, edit a video in Premiere Pro and actually put this layer on top of it. Okay. And then, of course, I want to select my output where I want to export this to into the selected folder that you choose. You can title it if you'd like and then simply click render. Okay. And now your computer is going to go through. It's going to render this entire template. Um, you can export that as a AVI file as well or a QuickTime file, whatever you would like. Again, that's the clean website promo. Uh, if you have specific questions that weren't covered, I know I could go on and on and on about, about um, this template, other templates and other things on that were missed, like how to actually get that into Premiere Pro. If you guys want to see that or you have questions, you got confused at any point in time, please drop a comment below. Let me know what I can help with. I'll be checking all the comments every single day and looking um, in what ways I can help you best with, you know, learning how to use these templates, how to edit, how to be in Premiere Pro, After Effects, all kinds of softwares for small business and to help you scale your impact online.